हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आवर टॉपिक इज स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटमोस्फेयर फ्रॉम चैप्टर टू स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटमोस्फेयर एज देर इज नो डिस्टनिक बाउंड्री बिटवीन द एटमोस्फेयर एंड द आउटर स्पेस इट्स एग्जैक्ट थिकनेस कैन नॉट बी नोन एप्रोक्सीमेटली द एटमोस्फेयर एक्सटेंड्स अप टू सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड किलोमीटर एव द सर्फेस ऑफ द अर्थ द डेंसिटी ऑफ द एटमोस्फेयर इज मैक्सिमम नियर द अर्थ्स सर्फेस दिस एटमोस्फेयर इज डिवाइडेड इन टू फाइव पार्ट वॉट आर दे चोपोस्फेयर स्ट्रेटोस्फेयर मिसोस्फेयर थर्मोस्फेयर एंड एक्सोस्फेयर नाउ वन बाई वन वी विल डिस्कस एवरी टॉपिक हियर विथ द हेल्प ऑफ अ डायग्राम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग ट्रोपोस्फेयर दिस इज द लोएस्ट लेयर ऑफ द एटमोस्फेयर इट एक्सटेंड्स to a height of about 8 km from the pole and about 18 km from the equator see this is the poles it is distance between 8 km this is the equator's line from where it measured as a 18 km this troposphere is a very dense part of the atmosphere because we can get here the dust particles water vapor and etc all the phenomena of the weather what you have observing here such as clouds rains storms lightning fog snowfall storms occur here only in this layer troposphere the temperature of air decrease with increasing in height at the rate of 1 degree celsius for every 165 meter again i am repeating this line because this is very important line in this layer in troposphere's layer temperature of air decreases when it increases in height at the rate of 1 degree celsius for every 165 meter this is called normal lapse rate here you are observing the air balloon and the aeroplane are also moving in this the upper part of the troposphere this is the explanation of the troposphere now we will come to our next topic that is the stratosphere this is the just ever layer of the troposphere or you can say second layer of the atmosphere it extends height about 50 km c 50 km from the surface of the earth tropopause we can't see the tropopause but there is a narrow boundary which separates the troposphere and stratosphere this boundary is known as tropopause in this part the lower part of the stratosphere the temperature remain constant here but in upper part the gradually the temperature is increases 
lower part the temperature is constant but in upper part the temperature is increases this layer the stratosphere is very important to us because we are finding here the ozone layer which is very important to us because this ozone layer is help us to absorb the harmful ultraviolet radiation which is coming from through the sun this ozone layer is work like a tea strainer as in this layer stratosphere jet planes are flying this is the explanation of stratosphere now come to the mesosphere mesosphere is the third layer of the atmosphere it is just above the stratosphere it extends height from the surface of earth to that is the 80 km the narrow boundary also separates the mesosphere and stratosphere that is known as stratopause in this mesosphere the temperature of air decreases when height is increasing here meteors burn in this layer this picture what you seen here with the yellow color these are known as the meteors why these are burn here due to friction upon entering the earth's atmosphere from space they are burn here i will show you a small picture of meteors here see student this is known as the meteors a meteor is a small body in space that collides with earth or with the another planet when a meteor enters the earth's atmosphere it makes a bright line in the night sky that you are observing here this is the bright line have you observed students this is the bright line in the night sky so in this layer mesosphere this meteors are very important so fourth number is a thermosphere just above the mesosphere layer this layer extends up to height 450 km from the surface of the earth here the temperature is increasing rapidly with the increasing of the height the boundary between the mesosphere and thermosphere is known as mesopause in this layer in this layer contains electrically charged particles called ions these particles reflect reflect radio waves back to the earth surface and enable us to wireless communication the thermosphere this thermosphere is also called ionosphere why this is called ionosphere because here ions are present that's why this thermosphere is also called 
ions. Here you can see the space stations are available. The fifth layer is a exosphere. This is the last layer of the Earth's atmosphere. It extends to height about 1600 kilometer and gradually merges with the space. This layer is extremely rare filled. Very little is known about it due to lack of a research. Research is not possible of this area. That's why we are not knowing too much regarding this layer. So students hope this is clear to you. Troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and hexosphere. One more time I just explain you the kilometers. Troposphere from the poles it takes 8 kilometers distance. From the equator, its distance maintaining 18 kilometer. Stratosphere's kilometer from the Earth's surface is 50 kilometer. Mesosphere's is 80 kilometer from the surface of Earth. Thermosphere extends 450 km from the surface of Earth. And the last is the exosphere. It is, from, it is 16 km. So, this is the explanation of the Earth's atmosphere. Now, I have written some notes here regarding the troposphere, stratosphere, Mesosphere, Thermosphere or Inosphere, Exosphere. You can see these features also in your book when you read these topics. Little extra knowledge I want to give you regarding this topic, the word metrology. The word metrology. The scientific study of atmosphere is called metrology and person who study metrology is called metrologist. They use science and math to understand and predicate weather and climate. With this explanation, I want to give you some little homework students. See, define the term normal lapse rate of temperature. Mention two uses of carbon dioxide gas. How is ozone gas important for us? Mention the characteristic features of the stratosphere. Explain why the troposphere is considered to be the most important layer of the earth. Every question is easy when you will read one time your topic from the book. Thank you.